So starting the test drive in this Edge ST, I do like how it feels like a normal Edge when you're just driving it with, you know, just giving it a little bit of throttle. You're not giving it everything because the turbos aren't kicking in 100%. But it's also, it feels just as quiet in terms of the cabin acoustics, just the sound you get from the engine bay. So I'll definitely give it a few pulls. I'm not gonna thrash it, but I'll give it a few pulls just going around to kind of see if I can feel the difference between this and that twin scroll turbo four. That's a two liter in all the other trim levels. And one thing that is different is these ST seats are much more sport oriented. You have the side bolsters that kind of come up and then it's just a, a stiffer seat, I think. But we'll definitely see what it can do again as we take it out on the interstate. But in terms of, again, just your overall driving, I mean, the good thing about these is they do have that same Ford Edge feel, which is one of my favorite just everyday vehicles because again it is a ford edge so you have the space of that it's relatively efficient to be as quick as it is 19 miles per gallon city 25 highway and it just it has that presence of the st trim in particular has a sportier feel but it doesn't necessarily feel like it's a sleeper car if that makes sense this thing's a lot quicker than it lets on But I mean, for the price point, it's not cheap, but it's also not crazy expensive either. You get a similarly equipped Audi, you're pushing 70 grand. But we'll definitely see what it can do again. Now I've put the edge into sport mode and I also have activated the paddle shifter. So we're gonna see how it does getting up to speed. Yeah, very, very quick. The shifts are surprisingly snappy. Test out the the cruise here. Adjust the gap back and then put in just the regular drive mode. So this is the full safety suite that you get here. You get the adaptive cruise. You get the lane centering. So a very impressive package here. And on the interstate, there's a little bit of wind noise. It is very windy out right now, but it's still not overly intrusive. It's actually pretty impressive for what this is. It's not a Lincoln, so I wouldn't expect the sound acoustics to be fantastic. But again, for it to be literally gusting outside, I'm pretty impressed. But what's great about this is I remember the old edges that came out in 2007, those were only getting probably about 24 miles per gallon highway. And now you have a, a speed demon. <laughs> I say that with a grain of salt, but you know, a much faster, much more capable SUV than the edge from 15 years ago. And it's still at least as efficient. You're getting 19 miles per gallon city again, 25 highway when you were getting probably 16, 17 city. 2324 highway and on top of all that you have an all-wheel drive system so pretty impressed by just everything that has kind of happened over the past few years in terms of just making things quicker but more efficient and it's a smaller displacement than the 3.5 v6 that came out but this is a 2.7 twin turbo v6 so But 
I think for the money, it is fun. It's a Ford, but it doesn't... That shouldn't be a reason why you go with something like a Lexus or something for the same money because this is much more fun to drive. I feel like much more capable and just much more practical. You can have your cake and eat it too, and that's what this vehicle tells us. And this will bring me to the end of my review of this 2024 Ford Edge ST with all-wheel drive.